Hello everyone, what's up? If you have an airbrush, imagine I told you that there was one airbrush paint with which you could do color gradients, blending, streaking and shading. What if I told you also that it was super easy and convenient to use? If this sounds interesting, this video is for you. The ammo shaders come in practical dropper bottles. They require no thinning, so just shake it and pour some drops into your airbrush cup. As you can see, it's very easy to measure the amount precisely. I use my Badger Patriot 105 at around 18 psi for this demo. The paint is very thin, but at the same time, there is no spider webbing and no tight marks whatsoever. It atomizes very finely, almost like a lacquer. As you can see, it literally creates shading, which means that it does not change the original color. It's very easy to control. You can see that I'm trying to create panel shading and also to reinforce some of the shading at the bottom of the panels. Or also sometimes I'm trying to create a light effect of suit on the vents. Here I am trying the same thing on the Bombard. As you can see, the effect is very subtle. You can see that although I am a journeyman at best when it comes to airbrushing, this is really easy to control. I have no difficulty hitting the panels the way that I want. Another thing I'd like to mention is that this paint does not clog your airbrush at all. I spent about 20 minutes non-stop airbrushing these vehicles and in that time I had to clean the tip a total of zero times. To be honest, I've never seen that before with any water-based acrylic paint. Here you can see the night blue shader. Just a few drops, really easy to measure. Now I'm trying to create some shading on the side fins and also at the bottom of the center panels. Although I'm not very good at airbrushing, like I said before, I didn't hit any of the white areas. I will admit I touched the metallics a little bit, but to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that. A viewer asked me last week to include details on where to buy and pricing in the future whenever I did another review. Since I know there's quite a few of us in different continents, I thought I would show you the company's website. So, as you can see, each shader has a price of €2.20 and there are 20 colors in total, if I count it correctly. Some of the more interesting ones, for us, are the Candy Red shader, which I've actually tried on my Warhound and looks really cool. The yellow one, for those Imperial Fist players. The net blue, which you've seen me use. The violet one. Of course, the ash black, which should be quite versatile. And in particular, the Starship Filth, which is color matched to one of their old brushers. And I think this one will fit a variety of applications. In any case, all of them are really transparent. So I wouldn't be too concerned about color matching. For instance, 
I use Grime with German Grey, which in theory wouldn't be the best combination, but I'm really, really happy with the results that I got. So, would I recommend the ammo shaders? Absolutely. I was really, really impressed with the results that I got, and even more so with the convenience and the ease of use of this product. First of all, there's the fact that they require absolutely no thinning. Secondly, they are non-toxic, unlike enamels or Tamiya clear paints, both of which I like to airbrush. Using the shaders instead means that I don't need to use a respirator, which, to be honest, is nice for a change. And lastly, the fact that they flow really well and don't clog means that the process becomes really enjoyable. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna get a bunch of these. So if you want more no-nonsense practical reviews, subscribe now. And remember, in the grim darkness of the 31st millennium, there is only weathering. <laughs>